What I think about the Green Place is that I'm really happy that this is in the center of the industrial uh, environment, or the, 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 the boots, because it shows that both from a clinical perspective uh, as a doctor and also the industry that there's a combined interest to do something about the climate change. I have four kids and I want them to grow up in a, in a viable world and I, I think being a bit of a scientist I, I look at the data and I get very worried and I think many people still try to ignore the problem or minimize the problem or think that we have a lot of time and I don't think so. I think it's just very inspiring to see that the, um, our, our um, society of anesthesiology and intensive care gives so much space uh, to such an important topic. I think it's very important and it's, uh, it's the right step forward. I think it's really important to um, start the discussion of um, reducing our footprint in the OR. Our footprint is a really large one, so it's really important that we discuss that. And it was really, it was really nice to hear the different posters, the different insights, and it, sparked, it also sparked a lot of discussion, like the difficulties that other people had, and it was really interesting to learn from them and how they overcame those um, struggles. I think the poster presentations were uh, so inspiring. It was so great to see how many um, anesthesiologists from different departments and different research team, uh, what, what projects they were work, working on and from all over Europe. And they were all working towards the same goal, uh, improving sustainability and anesthesiology. And that was very inspiring. And I'm looking forward to bring some of that back home to my own hospital. I think that one of the biggest things that we have to change is the use of uh, anesthetic gas. We should try to reduce the uh, use of um, the gases like nitrous oxide and desflurane. And when we're using um, and try to implement more of total intravenous anesthesia, like the use of propofol as a maintenance hypnotic, um, that should be really the case and can improve uh, our carbon footprint immensely. I think uh, what uh, is most important is that uh, we as anesthesiologists increase awareness of what we are doing in our daily clinical routine. So I think teaching and education and starting already with the young people coming to our department and learning about anesthesiology, I think that's uh, a major cornerstone. There was a lot of interaction between the different presenters of the posters. So that means that, and that's that means that there's a lot of exchange of information between centers and I think by cooperation and by uh, delivering the correct information as fast as possible to as many anesthetists as possible, we will start to make the first steps towards a solution.